Popular singer, songwriter and composer Sanam Puri and model turned singer, former Miss Nagalin Zuchupini Tungoi tied the note in a tazzing ceremony at Picturate Garden of Harmony, Nihoko Village, Newland, Nagaland, a private residence owned by the couple. Repeat after me. I give you this ring as a sign of the promises we have made today. Okay, you can give it. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Okay. I give you this ring as a sign of the promises we have made today. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Okay. Oh, thank you. This is the marriage certificate. Nagaland Police Baptist Church Association Holy Matrimonial Certificate. This is to certify that Mr. Sanam Puri and Ms. Zhobeni Tongoi were united in a holy matrimony at Garden of Harmony, the uh, Hoke Village, by Reverend Vessel Sir Hako Pastor on this day, that 11 January 2024. While therefore God had joined together, let not man put asunder. Witness. Oriental support the God, Tiaga body God, Minister, Remesso Sir Hako Pastor, Police Union Baptist Church, New Police Reserve, Kohima. And this is the Bible. We are encouraged then to raise the family on based on the Bible. Now I give hand over this Bible and certificate. I may our grace join your hands again. Yes. This is Declaration of Marriage. You have come before God and these witnesses today to express your desire to be a husband and wife by the cleansing of hands, by the reciting of woes, by the exchange of ring. You have shown your love and devotion to each other. I therefore declare that you are husband and wife. May God join together, let no separate. It is now my honor to present 
Mr. and Mrs. Sunan Puri. On the Omar, we call them Mr. and Mrs. Sunan Puri. Okay, yes, thank you. Here to witness the union of two incredible souls, Sunan and Zucho. But firstly, who am I? I'm Jackson. Sunan, along with Summer, we go way back, bonded by our shared love for video games, cricket, and zest for life. It's like our controllers synced up naturally and our cricket pitches aligned perfectly. We've known each other for nearly a quarter of a century. <laughs> Sanam, you've been the brother from another mother, and Summer, well, you're the one he couldn't escape. But today, it's not just about the brotherhood. It's about the connection that brings us all here. Sanam, ladies and gentlemen, the beautiful bride Zucha. Isn't she just so beautiful, so elegant, and just looking like a wow? I'm delighted to have the incredible honor of standing by this jewel site as one of the maid of honor. First and foremost, I wouldn't dare to miss to see how beautiful she looks. And as I stand here today, I can't help but reflect on the journey that has led us to this moment. The show, along with uh, other bridesmaids and maid of honor, we have been friends since childhood and we are beyond grateful for the memories we have created together. Walking down to an old memory land, I reflect back on how we played Auntie Auntie with Barbie dolls the whole day at your place to the extent of getting brushed up by my mom. And the show definitely knows best. Oh, how I always missed her calls. She would always snack in her perfectly typical auntie tone, saying, Tiro na, tiro na, muna ko kita yung nao tayo. Ay, gila, nga friend mo yung nagi. Saying like, you, you, you never pick my call. What kind of a friend you are, she would say that to me. And this is how, this reminds me of that very fun call when she called me up one evening to tell me about how she met Sanam. When the name Sanam popped out, I just couldn't believe. I was awestruck to the point where to be even more sure, I asked her like, what singer? So she was like, yes. So since that song was like so popular in Nagaland, also it was one of the songs that our circle, circle, friend circle was always uh, like jammed to. The show is one of the strongest women ever. From seeing her overcome everything and now to this. I'm really happy for her. She has always been this firm pillar to me during my worst days. Oh, how I wish Auntie Awale, as you called her, was here to witness your big day. And I know for sure she wouldn't risk to miss it and would take along with Auntie Apox and his mom. And in our conversations, she would always have this obvious look of abundance of happiness all around her. And I think we have never seen her this happy in a very long time. It is my prayer that your love will continue to blossom and may this journey together be filled with lots of laughter, adventure, and happiness. I love you guys and congratulations. Share a few things. Sana is like my son, my baby, my friend, my life. Uh, I'm very emotional, so I might cry. <laughs> I'm blessed to have a brother like him in this lifetime. I call him Chota Muna because he is the cutest thing as a musician and performer. He still needs reminding how talented he is, you know. The gift he has is unimaginable. Now is the time for a few challenges. The way I see is an opportunity to grow into another role as a husband and to build something beautiful together. Zucho, my little sister, you have a beautiful and kind heart. And Zucho, if Sanam doesn't behave properly, please let me know. So big on I'm your big, big brother now. And Sanam always hated the fact that I'm very clumsy. He's stuck with two clumsy people now. 
And I would like to mention that Zuto is more Punjabi than Sanam, and Sanam is more Naga deep inside. A relationship is never easy. Two people are there to learn from each other, learn to give each other space, make mistakes, fight, argue, to understand each other, and most importantly, understand what love is all about. It's good to see Sanam adopting Zuto's culture and Zuto adopting Sanam's culture. They become example for all of us and for the world. And they show us that love is bigger than anything in its way. Love never fails. Thank you. And I'm so protective of her. When I met Sanam, it was immense relief I felt because I knew that she had found someone who was not only incredibly kind and compassionate, but also someone who had the strength to protect her and to be a covering over her. Sanam, I love the way you love Zucho, and I know that with you, she's going to be safe. She's going to be loved and cherished, and for that, I'm so grateful. And for me, your love story is a testament that when God orchestrates your love story, there is such beauty in the way everything fits and comes together. And it's been so beautiful to witness that in your love story. I love you both, and I wish you joy and happiness in the exciting adventure that lies ahead of you. May you be each other's best friend. May you always bring out the best in each other. May you challenge each other to stretch and to grow to your fullest potential so that you become the very best version of yourselves. And may you have a lifetime of discovering new ways to love each other. I pray that God's continued favor and blessing would, uh, yeah, <laughs> oh, we're all getting emotional. <laughs> would continue over your life so that the destiny that he has for you will be fulfilled beautifully. May God bless you both. The melody, the whole composition, it took me about one and a half to two hours to finish the whole song. And when I composed, that, at that point, Ruben was home. Ruben, where are you? You're there. Okay, Ruben was home. He heard, he heard me compose the song. And, uh, you know, so anyway, this song happened. And since then, I was looking for a voice for the song. Uh, you know, initially, I, had th I thought I'm going to be singing this song alone. And then I was searching and searching and searching and then in 2022 April I saw Zucho's profile on Instagram and I heard a voice and I was like wait oh my god firstly I got a lot of goosebumps and I heard a voice and I was like oh my god is this the voice I was looking for for so long it took me a year and a half a little less than a year and a half and I heard a voice I messaged her I said Wow, your voice is so beautiful. Uh, would you like to do a song with me? And uh, at that point, she was here in Nagaland. And uh, I was like, well, how can we do this? She said, uh, okay, I'll be coming to Mumbai soon to collect my certificate for the university she was studying at. And <laughs> I was like, okay, let me know when you're coming and we'll discuss the song. For now, let me send you the song. And let me know if you like the song and then we'll do it. I don't want to impose the song onto you. She heard the song and we were messaging. Um, would you like to share? <laughs> we were messaging. Okay, I'll, I'll share. It's okay. I think. Uh, she first responded. I, it's there in the surprise. You, you can read it later again. But what I told her after playing the song is that I was not just searching for you, I was searching for, oh, I mean my bad, sorry, I was not just searching for someone like you, I was searching for you, is what I realized through the song that 
the song that I had written was actually about her and I didn't even know that I was going to meet her eventually. And in fact, I want to thank my dream. The fact that we're all here together, it started with the dream that I had. The dream made me compose a song that made me message her. We met. I told her that I want to marry her, like, pretty fast. <laughs> okay.